Hey, what's up guys? So this is a follow-up video of Infinity X ROM for Redmi Note 8. This time we have the latest version 1.5. still same. So let's check out what we are getting with this ROM. So first of all, as I always do, we will go to the Android versions as you can see here. It is Infinity X version 1.5, official version. And all other information you can see and all the security patch level is September 5, 2024. And there is nothing much so in terms of the ui it is pretty much same there is nothing new here so everything is there and if you want any kind of customization you can go here and do the customization things and so in terms of network and internet connection wi-fi bluetooth hotspot and mobile data everything is working perfectly fine i haven't found any kind of issue with those things and if you go to display section there is nothing new like everything is whatever we get with old version is similar to that wallpaper and style still there is no AI wallpaper but the wallpaper here is actually pretty beautiful the default one and going back in terms of apps and other things still there the battery backup is still pretty much same it's still pretty good battery backup and all the battery related features are viable like charging control and also scheduling the charging and even current control also there so if you go to charging control if you open it and go to limit charging and also custom schedule and all other things are there and also charging mode so everything is there and you can disable the first charging as i said we do have control over current so you can choose this one too so if your device is not charging fast you can go here and turn on first charging if it is turned off or if you if it is turned off you can make it full it will charge as fast as possible going back there is nothing new actually everything is pretty much similar and if you go with the finger pin and security so finger pin and face unlock both of them working perfectly fine no issue but there is issue with locking and unlocking device if you keep the device for some time when you unlock the device it will take two to three seconds to unlock so that issue is with Evolution X ROM 2 and few other ROMs too. So you have to deal with it. Not really a major issue. In terms of security patch, so if you go here, and as you can see here, the CTS profile match is failed. So you cannot use any kind of bank application on this build. Previous build was okay, but I don't really know what's going on. And if you go to Play Store and check the Play Store certification, setting, about. So the Play Store certification is there, so you can use most of the application here but you can't use bank application so in terms of application as you can see here we do have Xiaomi camera here so Xiaomi camera is working perfectly fine no issue and I also installed Gcam it is also working so no issue with camera camera works perfectly fine uh, in terms of feature there is one new feature I have found is that if you install Gemini and if you press and hold this one and it will take a snapshot and search the content or you can translate from here it is not really like a circle to search what we got with evolution x ROM, but it is pretty much like if you keep your picture in your google photos then if you use the google lens it is pretty much similar to that so it takes the snapshot and just search it on google so that's what i have found new on this build rather than that everything is pretty much similar in terms of gaming it is pretty much okay you can do gaming here you should not expect much but the gaming you can do and nowadays everyone asking me to try out android 15 rom uh, i will try out android 15 rom there are few roms available right now but i'm not going with android 15 rom because it's going to be uh, laggy and also we need to wait for android 15 based rom as this device can't even handle android 14 well so going with android 15 will be pretty much odds so i will wait few more times just to find out few more releases then i will try out 15 but there are few more roms i have found these days which i will try out based on android 14 so if you are using redmi note 8 you can follow my videos and rather than that i have nothing to say about this rom it is perfectly fine and usable rom if you use bank application, you can skip this build and wait for next build. The ROM link will be in the description below. And that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.